Hi, how we doing, folks? It is your boy, Marcos. It is Sunday. Weekend challenges. Going through that Mega Man X. Uh, great game. Just a fun time. Just overall, just so good. Um, and we uh, we are wrapping this up, man. We're really coming close to the end here, man. It, it is crazy. To tell you the truth, when I start these like series, when I start these um, these playthroughs, these walkthroughs, I never even contemplate finishing them. Um, and these are the first two I did. You know, Goldeneye and Mega Man were the first two I did on my channel. Um, you know, I, I love Call of Duty. I like playing it. Um, but I also wanted to diversify. I also wanted to show a little bit different side of me. You know, play some different games. I also, just play through the games. You know, I always. Uh, mix it up, and I like playing through old school games. Uh, to tell you the truth, I really haven't bought too many new games. Uh, I will eventually, you know. I gotta get to Bioshock Infinite and all that stuff, but I know they're good and whatnot. But I just haven't bought them. I haven't played all the games. I don't really, I don't really need them. To tell you the truth, um, as long as I got my Mega Man, I, got, I mean, I could play that. I could play Mega Man X at any point in my life. That's how good it is. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's been great sharing it with you guys. So it's been, a, it's been a really jolly time. We got some warm reception right here for the folks. Um, in two weeks, what do we got? We got Sigma, we got a third level of Sigma. And then we got the final level of Sigma. So you got two more weeks of this. And then you get to see the grand reveal of what the next game is I'm gonna tackle. And uh, I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm already been working on it. Uh, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty fun. I think these guys are really gonna enjoy that. Uh, but let's go with the task at hand right here. Once again, going through, redoing the bosses. And if there's any boss that really doesn't want that there really doesn't merit replaying. It's definitely chill penguin. I mean, I need, I stopped even hitting him with the fire just because I was bored. I was like, I gotta get too close to him. I'm gonna go a little bit farther away. And he does manage to freeze me here, so good for him. But look at that. He, he, uh, this guy just sucks. This guy is lame. I understand you always need it. I got him right there. I always like that pose he gives you when he dies. Not so much the blowing up part. That's kind of over the top. But the pose he gives you is just pure pain. Yeah, bro. Don't mess with X, son. I, I don't play those games. Um... If there's one boss that definitely doesn't merit playing through all over again, it is definitely Chill Penguin. The guy is just, he's just boring. I mean, I understand you need an easy boss. Like you just, you know, you just need sometimes to go through an easy boss. I get it, uh, but come on, you can't be that that easy. Especially like the second time. I really wish that the second time they would have given you something extra, new move from them. Uh, maybe, yeah, you know, I guess you can't change exactly what their weakness is, but. Something, you know, a new, a new move, a new skill that they did, or maybe they, maybe there's two at a time or something. I don't know. Rather than just playing through the same boss over and over again, I think that's a little bit tedious to my regard. But I talked about it last video. I'll maintain it below. I'll digress. I'm not gonna get too too far into that. I got that classic slowdown right there, and now we gotta eat up with my man Storm Eagle. And this, even like so simple as this, this is kind of cool because we're outside, you know, Storm Eagle, he's outside. Whereas the Penguin guy, we just dealt with him kind of in the same locale we did before. It's like an inside of a room. Eh, whatever. You know, last time was actually cooler because last time at least he was in the frozen tundra where he belongs. This time, not so much. And, you know, Storm Eagle last time was on a plane, which is cool. But even outside over here with the edges and whatnot, I thought this was actually, a, I wouldn't say an improvement over the original fight, but I thought this was just as good. Um, but nonetheless, it'd be cool if he gave you a different move, you know. It'd be cool instead of just coming down here and dropping these eggs, he did something different. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hearing those flapping, and I'm like, where is he? I guess he just never came down, or maybe he came down a little bit further from where I saw him. I hit him with the, with the XXX Buster, completely upgraded. My man had nothing to do with that. He didn't want nothing to do with that. I don't blame him right here. Um, but overall, this set second level is pretty simple. I mean, I mean, look at the boss that we're talking about right here. You get these guys with the X Buster with like, like it's nothing. Um, so no worries on that. And I'm popping my man right here, just waiting for him to just come on, peel over, my friend. And then this move right here, which always gets me, man. I always get so confused by it. I never expected to tell you the truth. Um, and I'm just gonna shoot him around over here. Just why even bother lock and load on this guy? Um, but it's cool. It's cool. I think it was cool, you know, in the original Mega Man games. I'll give you credit when you go through Wily's Town, and whatnot. Because uh, I felt a little bit more progression here. Here it's kind of just repetitive. You know, you're going through the same thing. It's like. 45 seconds worth of enemies in stage, followed by, you know, a minute boss fight, followed by 45 seconds again, a minute boss, and blah, 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 blah. Whereas, you know, I thought the older Mega Man game, I think they did a better chance of making the, cha the stages challenging. Because these stages really aren't that challenging. They're annoying by the amount of uh, bosses that are on them, but they're not exactly a challenge, per se. Um, so I didn't find that to be too, too challenging, especially, like, platforming-wise. Like, there really aren't that many crazy jumps that you have to hit. And I remember those original Mega Man games, there were some crazy jumps you had to hit in those uh, Wily levels and stuff. And this, yeah, they kind of toned it down. Um, so overall, I mean, I was a little bit disappointed by the Sigma uh, aspect of the game. Until you get to Sigma himself. That was, uh, yeah, that was pretty intense. Um, but the road up to him, 
Yeah, I think they could have done better. I think they got a little bit lazy with it. And here we got this boss right here. If you know what this is, let me know. Because I have no idea what this is. Um, I'm trying to remember what the hell is this thing weak to. And he looked at the middle part and I'm like, ah, he's weak to the chameleon. Yes, yes, you are weak to the chameleon. The problem is that I suck at using the chameleon. I really don't remember how to use it that well. So he's, he's, in, he's in tune right here. He's very happy. And the different eye colors tell you, you know, if you know the different eye colors tell you the different thing they're going to do. And I just pre-shoot a little bit too pre-pre-shoot. And this is, this is definitely dangerous because, you know, like any Mad Max game, spikes are your worst enemy. And I wanted to make sure I let you see that because it happens to the best. The spikes are your worst enemy in a Mega Man X game. Always have, always will be. For some reason, Mega Man could do anything. He could go in the water, he could fight huge octopuses, he could, or octopi, I guess, if that's a plural. I don't know what the plural of octopuses is. Octopus, octopup, octopi, whatever. Um, he could do anything he wants. Except for stepping on spikes. That's a big no-no right there. Now, if you notice, I raced off of the community thing. I still raced off, going off a little closer to the hand right there. You don't want to fully charge it, though, which I think I end up doing right here, unfortunately. Because then you're just kind of, like, invincible, which is cool. Uh, but you wasted a lot of chameleon sting on that. And then your second best bet is that you use the X-Buster on this goon right here. Which is uh, rather challenging, to say the least, to kill this guy. I always hit him when he's like just pausing right there, which is always the worst part to hit him with. And I'm trying to use over here the, the homie missiles. I thought, you know, just stay up over here, shoot the missiles. They'll eventually hit him. He's about to die anyway. Managed to work out right there. But if not, go to the x bus. That's probably the second best bet right there with killing that guy. And the spikes disappear, which is very interesting. I guess they were part of the robot itself. And there we go. Managed to get that W right there. I'm sure the password will come up. Hope you guys have a great Sunday, man. Thanks a lot for supporting the series. I'm also going to take below some other videos if you want to check it out. Adios.